Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're doing a reading for Scorpio for the first half of August. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check in on the energies and see what's going on, pull messages from different decks. Scorpio, keep in mind, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading, so stick around, let's see what's going on. Scorpio, first half of August, what's happening? Deceit. Hmm. What else is here for Scorpio? First chakra, Archangel Michael. Oh. And the temple path. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start clarifying your cards and see what's going on here. I'm gonna start with the deceit energy. What is that all about? Two of cups. Hmm. Three of pentacles. Five of Swords, whoa, the Lovers, and Ten of Swords, wow. Oh, uh, difficult, difficult energy in uh, romantic union here. That's what I'm getting very strongly. Definitely there could be somebody who cheated here, Scorpio. I see this very, very strongly here. But the Two of Cups, if we're talking about romantic union, somebody deceives someone in a romantic connection. Um, three, of, uh, three of Pentacles, I do see um, energy of cheating here. So somebody could have definitely cheated here. Five of Swords this is an argument. This is a conflict here because of the situation that happened with the lovers i am getting this energy that um definitely first of all this is in a romantic connection but also there could have been a gemini involved here and there could have been a choice made in the in a love connection that kind of the person went in a different direction that connected to somebody else ten of swords i see a separation i see a separation here i see an ending of this relationship um this could be a divorce for those of you who are married or a breakup here i do see a separation Somebody definitely um, did something here that um, was dishonest. I see cheating. I do see cheating here. It is for someone. For those of you who are going through this, I see this relationship ending. I see that this is something that is going to end and you're going to leave. You're going to make a choice to leave this relationship. Wow. Okay. Difficult energy to start with, but let's see what else is coming through here. First chakra, Archangel Michael. If um, to meditate and to call upon Archangel Michael it would have been very beneficial for you right now. Um, needing to ground yourself. Oh, look at that! Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Queen of Swords, the Devil, Five of Cups, and the Justice. Wow. Scorpio, a lot of um, energy of emotional turbulence around you at this time here. That's probably why that grounding is so much needed for you. It's interesting how that came through, that turbulence came through with this energy of needing to ground yourself. Ten of Cups was Ace of Cups. Your happily ever after lies in a new, a new relationship. Very strong message of that. Um, the, you, this is not this is not your end all be all there is a new relationship here a new cup of love that is coming towards you that is going to bring you that ultimate happiness that relationship that is um lasting that is um, um committed relationship that has a lot of love a lot to offer and yes this relationship that will last a lifetime that is coming with a new cup of love with a new person here not with whatever you're dealing with currently that's a very strong message here a queen of swords the devil and five of cups what i see here is that you have been dealing with an air sign again that air sign is coming through here that um, was manipulative that did cheat to somebody who did something that was uh, toxic energy here with the five of cups i do see that um, there is sadness um, associated with this connection there is sadness associated with the ending of this connection here but there's already two cups of love here that are coming through that are entering your energy and that you will be very happy with i do see that this toxic this karmic relationship here is 
over. And justice is coming through here. That equal balance relationship is coming through. Justice will be served. It almost feels to me like karmic justice is being served. And you will be sent a person who is your happily ever after, as corny as it sounds. It does feel like new. It does feel like as a transformation in your love life. And I do feel like um, this new person is going to be very different from what you've dealt with in the past or you're currently dealing with. Temple Park. What is that all about for my Scorpios? High Priestess, Five of Wands. Nine of Cups, nice. Scorpio, there is a message here to follow your intuition. Your intuition is very strong at this time, but High Priestess, there are some almost downloads that I see coming towards you. Your dreams could be very vivid at this time. Pay attention to your dreams. It does feel like uh, this message has something to do with uh, your work. Uh, you could be going through some difficult times with your colleagues at this time. I do see an energy of working in a very competitive work environment here. And although you have some goals that you want to achieve, it's not easy. I do feel a very competitive, almost kind of toxic work environment, to be honest here. But the Page of Wands, um, it feels to me like you're trying to mute all the distraction and keep going uh, going for what you desire, keep going for your uh, goals here. I feel like you're just trying to just, like I said, mute out all the kind of... Um, uh, possibly like office gossip or whatever's going on around you and just keep going and I feel like that attitude will actually bring you quite a bit of following I feel like uh, some of the colleagues will start following you your calmness your attitude of uh, just getting the job done and not involving yourself in low vibrating conflict energy here with a fool, it does feel like um, this is something new that you're taking on. Um, uh, you could be cutting out some people from uh, um, your work group that uh, are bringing that toxic energy. I'm getting that. And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like uh, you're building the, um, possibly a smaller, but a group of people who do get along, who want to work for um, the common goal here. And I do feel that uh, with a slow process, you will see... Um, progress. You will uh, slowly but surely you will start reaping reward of your hard work and just um, like I said, cutting some people out of your um, your team and molding the team the way you want it to be. Taking the path that is um, very much out of a conflict, out of the um, toxicity, and bringing the people on your path who are truly meant to be on there. That's what I see. Some of you are definitely in a management role where you can make that decision who stays in the team and who leaves. And that's what you're doing. That's what I see. Okay, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And we're going to pull some message delivery planted animal oracle cards here and see what else is happening for you in this first half of August. Tiger Lily. Huh. Giraffe. And Queen of the Night. Okay. Let's go ahead and start clarifying. Starting with the Tiger Lily. Eight of Swords. King of Pentacles. Lovers. And Page of Swords. I feel like somebody played a number on you here where you've been quite hurt. Quite hurt in a, some sort of love relationship. And it puts you in this mode that you're a little bit defensive to even uh, come out there again. To give another person a, a chance. Could have been a, an earth sign that you were connected to. But doesn't have to be. It feels like this person was very, 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 very selfish. That's what I'm getting here. And I do feel that uh, it did affect you in a way that you um, just don't want to open up at this time you're a little bit afraid to open up at this time but i do see that there is new love coming in here for you and i do feel that uh, if you just take the mindful you will see that there is a divine connection that is coming your way i feel like this person uh, um, is gonna <laughs> Um, shower you with messages. I feel like this person is quite insistent. They're a very good communicator and I feel like they just keep trying. They'll keep trying until they can break through to you. A very strong energy of a Gemini coming in. 
Okay, let's go ahead and uh, clarify the giraffe energy. What is that all about? Okay, stop. Huh. I feel like some of you Scorpios, you are in a position where you um, either building your own business or you're building up some sort of um, project at work. I am getting an energy from you of somebody who's in charge, somebody who is um, in a position of making decisions here. There are several opportunities here, but um, it, there's this energy of you um, looking from above, seeing a bigger picture, seeing a bigger picture and staying on track with your dreams, with your plan and uh, with your goal here. No matter what's happening um, underneath what's happening right now, it feels like you are a visionary. You're somebody who can see a, bit, a bigger picture and why things are done in a certain way. With the four of thoughts, there is a lot of thinking here of how to reach that goal, how to uh, get to the final destination here. With the moon, some things could be unclear and this is why there is a need to rise above and see the bigger picture to see the bigger perspective to focus on the final goal and this is how you're going to get to that financial success which is coming it absolutely is coming here with nine of pentacles that's what i see queen of the night six of pentacles queen of cups the high priestess high event wow and the judgment interesting definitely uh, talking to a scorpio who's been uh, through quite a bit uh, in the love life somebody who's been hurt in the past somebody who overcame the challenges and rise above again um when others thought that you might not at this point i feel like there is a connection that is coming here for you i feel like this connection is going to be of two adults who are in the same kind of um, um, on the time frame they're in the same kind of uh, position in life where they want to build a true and honest connection queen of cups is coming through could be a water sign that is coming into you could be a pisces here very strong energy of a pisces somebody who's very caring and somebody who's also quite spiritual here with a higher friend this connection could definitely lead to a marriage if that's what you want this connection can lead to a, a very committed relationship with a judgment i do see celebrations i also want to say for those of you who are in a very strong connection right now i do see an actual marriage happening here in August I do see a very big celebration I do see a celebration that um, you know there's quite a few people around you uh, people that you um, that support you family here uh, it feels like an evening wedding here and uh, you're gonna it's going to be um, a beginning of a very 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 strong union there is absolutely wedding vibes for some of you here Scorpios Especially if you are connected to a water sign and specifically somebody who very, has very strong Pisces placements in their chart. All right, let's move this out of the way. We're going to go ahead and just pull some tarot cards here and see if there is anything else that we have not covered. Anything else that Scorpio need to know for the first half of August. Message from Scorpio. Ace of Emotions. Whoa, all of this. Ace of Emotions is a new love connection, a new love connection coming your way. It could be a Capricorn that is coming your way here. Um, page of uh, Materials, uh, yeah, definitely could be a nurse sign, specifically a, part, a Capricorn here. Somebody who's very young at heart, but somebody who's also, um, could be even younger at age, but very mature for the age. They, they feel like somebody who's uh, growing and developing quite quickly. That's the energy I'm getting here. Ace of Boys, definitely somebody new in not somebody that you know from before this person is going to make you think you will uh, um, you will think if you want this or not this is this is somebody who's going to be lingering in your head for quite a while here i do feel that they are pretty good communicator and they do want that um, equal relationship it does feel like two people on the same path 
that want to come together. But you're quite defensive with that four materials, four voices, interesting. Quite defensive here. You, you're going to be in your head. You're going to be thinking about it. You're going to be, um, you know, considering, do you want to let this person in or not? With four materials, I do see you been hurt in the past and it's not easy for you to open up again. Um, with that devil energy, it could be a bit of an energy of manipulation. It does feel to me like the energy I'm getting here is that this person could have been a play in the past. And that's something you know and you kind of, uh, that's something that puts you on the uh, defense here. But I do feel like this person has grown up. I do feel like this person has matured. Um, there is an energy of transformation around them. And I do feel that um, they they will be honest about it. If there is anybody that you will learn from that they have been a player in the past, it will be from them. That's the energy I'm getting. And then it's gonna be your decision uh, to let them in or not. Do they have genuine feelings for you? I feel like they do. I feel like this is something new. I feel like this is something that has potential to develop. And uh, I do feel that they're coming to you with honesty and they are quite genuine. That's the energy I'm getting. This is what I have for you today, Scorpio. I hope this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and bye for now.